I've known Dr. Pines for several years. Um, uh, he and my wife are a member of an illustrious uh, French wine society. And uh, as I would go to uh, the dinners, one time uh, David and I were having a conversation about where have you been and what happened. And he said he graduated from Highland Park. I could have fallen on the floor. I had no concept that that was right. So uh, all of this came from that. Looking back on a pretty long career, 70 plus years, it's hard to define all the things that went on, but I would emphasize it was having absolutely the right marriage. I was married to a wonderful woman for a little more than 67 years. Susie, my wife, my late wife, was incredibly supportive of me all the way along. She kept David young and, and, and going and charging. And I think, I think a lot of people don't understand how much the significant other keeps the other one going. But he thinks young, he acts young, and his brain never turns off. I have not retired, and I'm never going to retire. What I study is emergent behavior the unexpected consequences of bringing stuff together in an unusual or different kinds of environments. Yeah, I understand about emergent, but I'm not sure my emergent is the same as David's emergent. The name quantum now has kind of a magic associated with, they don't know what the hell it is, but it doesn't matter. It just kind of, seems kind of interesting and they read about quantum computers which might change your lives, and they might, but boy, this is a long time off. And everybody likes the idea of quantum jumps, sudden changes that come not gradually, but all at once, bam, there's a jump. So you could say, life is just one damn quantum jump after another. A really important thing for every middle school kid to learn is that they live in an emergent universe. The unexpected consequences, not just to bringing electrons and atoms together, but people together, the way a society is formed. I've now got a new passion in life, which has got a very simple goal. Teach every middle school student how to think like a scientist. It's a global initiative sponsored by a partnership I launched about eight years ago, and this is its major project. David is, um, um, is a philosopher. Da David presents himself as a physicist. But when you talk to David, he crosses the line and, and comes to the intersection of physics and philosophy. The point is your life is determined by chance, but what happens is what you do with the chances you are offered. I want to congratulate David uh, for getting this award and uh, it's it certainly uh, due to David and due to his uh, early years in Holland Park that uh, he's achieved what he's got. So congratulations, David, well-deserved. Thank you so much for this award, which means a very great deal to me. It's marvelous to be recognized by you as a distinguished alumnus, and I look forward to many future years of association with the Highland Park community.